Okay. Do I agree with the way he reacted? No. But I don't need to fucking berate him in front of everybody there. Like, he's earned my respect because he's done he's a he's our friend and he's done shit behind the scenes for us. Like we fuck with him. We like we really fuck with him. And so Andrew as well. And Andrew too. So like Obviously, I was there. Nothing was going to happen. And then we had a conversation behind the scenes, bro. Like, it doesn't need... We, like, I don't know why... Like, you guys, like... How old are you, bro? How old are you? I'm, I'm in my, my late 30s. Then you should fucking know better. You should no, know, know better. better than that. That guy acts. And that dude looks like no, he's no, no, older no, no, than no, me. No, 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 You should know better, bro. You, you're, you're old enough to understand what it was like before the internet age. You're old enough to remember before the social media bullshit. You've had a job before, right? I, I, yeah, I have a good paying job. Okay, what would it be like if your supervisor or a colleague of yours embarrassed you and said something about you, right? Let's say you fucked up publicly in front of everybody, and he called you no, up in front of everybody. Did, but he did that publicly. That's the difference, though. He did that publicly. Then that's, that's not your real friend. If it was something that was done in private, then yeah. yeah, yeah no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Like, I'm telling you, let's say your buddy that you work with embarrassed you in front of everybody, and you guys were friends. You guys are cool, right? And then you did some shit. You fucked up in front of everybody, and then... He called you out on it and made you look. It made it even worse. If I was the one who, if I was the one in the wrong, then I would just take my yeah. I would just take my L. Like okay, would you still have the same level of respect for that guy? Or would you fuck with him in the future? When he could have I mean, easily after, just if, waited. If, if I ever did, he could have waited and talked to you about somebody, behind I the wouldn't scenes. expect him. I wouldn't expect them to want to have anything to do with me after that. Like I, I don't see where you're going with this. I mean, I get it. He's your friend. I think that, yeah, you're just, you know, you're you're trying to, like, be a good friend or whatever. But yeah. that's the kind of shit that makes people, like, steer away from red pill content when they see guys like that. Because it's like, it makes it look like hypocrisy. Like, this guy acts like an emotional He's not person. Pill, like, He's not a red pill content creator. At all. Everyone on that panel was from somewhere else, bro. Yeah, bro. Like, uh, to be honest with you, like, almost nobody on that panel was a red pill content creator. Crypto, blog lifestyle, rap. See, uh, here's another thing too. Like you guys got to understand, coaching, mentorship. We work really hard to diversify our platform and bring people on from different walks of life that think th think about things differently, right? We disagree with a lot of people that we bring on the show, especially when it comes to red pill dynamics and dynamics, etc. Like Wes is a motivational um, fitness speaker. guy. Yeah. Like he's not a red pill content creator, bro. Like I don't know why you guys like look at him like uh, like look at it like oh well they're not red pill like but guys. The dumbest thing you could do is like assume everyone has your worldview. I'm sorry, what was that? Are you what the fuck? You're the one that called into no, the show. You know I, got, I got caught up reading the chat. Reading it. So right, you got caught up reading the chat. Just go, go back to the chat. Bro. All right, you bro. know, what, you know, what, I, you got plenty. So of time like, to yo, read like it, bro. it's don't. it's crazy to me, like how. Like, bro, you you just don't fucking get it, man. And this is the thing, like. You guys want to know, like, bro, you know why so many YouTubers, like, that we, that we like, collab with, et cetera, like, have an enormous amount of respect for us and, like, people talk highly of us that we've worked with in the past? Because we move differently. We're not YouTubers, entertainers. Like, if we work with you, we work with you. There's some level of respect, right? We're not going to fucking bash you or do some weird shit or try to embarrass you, especially if we're, like, friends with you. Like, that's just weird, right? And I think... That's a tenement of masculinity. It's to stick by your friends and be loyal to your friends, even if they're in the wrong, right? And it's like people will go ahead and sell somebody short or go ahead and say, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and condemn you publicly so I can hold you accountable, get some clicks. Like, no, man, it ain't worth it for us. Like, that's not how we move. That's that's weird. That's stupid. Yo, bro, uh, you know what got me? He's almost 40 reading a chat. Sorry, bro. I, I, I kid you not, and then, bro. And then I asked him, like, do you have friends? No. That should tell you something, bro. What the fuck is wrong with you? How do you not have any friends that you're 40 years old? That means that you're a fucking snake. Yeah. You can't make this shit up, bro. Crazy, bro. Yeah. You got no friends and you try to tell us how to move with people. That's Your mindset is precisely why you don't have a network of men. Oh, brother. You're not loyal. As soon as like some shit happens, I'm going to condemn you. Get the fuck out of here, bro. We wish you the best, bro. Holy shit, man. I think Wes is hilarious, bro. Honestly. This is why I say masculinity is dead, bro. Yeah, no, like, it's, yo, it's like, dead. There's no, like, there's Soy no... Soy boys for like, life. Like, bro, like, yo, like, if it's your boy, Y'all like, niggas. They do some shit like, yo, it's fucking, like, I'm here. You know what I mean? You don't know what I realize, though, bro? About this fucking open world that we live in bro. nowadays. Weird. Most, most guys want you to follow the walk agenda. And it is basically saying Which means sell out your your friends. Yeah. You know, you know what's crazy? One of the criticisms that people come at me for is, Myron, you're too loyal. 
That's a criticism in 2024? There's a movie, um, The Town. One of my favorite fucking scenes. Ben Affleck comes in. I need your help. I can't tell you what it is. You can never ask me about it later, and we're gonna hurt some people. And the guy looks at him and he says, Which car would which car we take? take? That's what you need in your circle, bro. That's what you need in your fucking circle. And that's like a dead fucking art nowadays. When Andrew had the bullshit going on with him, and every, the whole world turned on him. Oh, he's a trafficker. He's a rapist, etc. I was like, no. I know this guy. I'm not going to fucking... Like, the, the cool thing to do would be like, oh, yeah, I condemn him, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm, so I'm with the narrative. Like, yeah, fuck that shit. We know him. We know this is a bunch of bullshit. We went and got evidence to prove that he didn't bullshit, and we stood there tall. And now look, you guys are seeing. It was all a lie. Right? There you go. Bullshit happened with Fresh. Fuck that bitch. She lied. A lot of you guys don't know that like, you guys ran with the narrative. Oh. Bro, she got an abortion before she did any of the podcasts. She already had the abortion by the time she called this nigga, bro. Uh, you know who he knew? I've been preaching you. They, they lied too. Yep. Isn't that funny? Made themselves look like ass clones. <laughs> That's why they ran with it. That's why they go so hard now. Yep. To ran with it. To recover. Look stupid. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Biggest L. But no, but no one ever cares about the truth. Yeah. They just want to go ahead and say, oh, Fresh did X, Y, Z, blah, blah. And she was poking up with other dudes at the time too. But again, like I said before, I could have just been like, nah, man, I'm going to distance myself from this shit. No, fuck that, man. Fuck that. Your true friends are the ones that stand by you when it's not convenient to do so. Yeah. Lesson in fucking loyalty, man. This is like a lost art, and it's amazing to me. I have to explain myself or talk about this shit. Oh, who bro, why did you say something like publicly? We had a conversation about it behind the scenes, man. He apologized. He was real cordial about it. It's like, my bad, man. I didn't mean to fucking blah, blah, blah. I'm a hothead sometimes, whatever. Done, man. The fuck, bro? What's the cool ass dude? I think uh, people have lost art of respect and loyalty nowadays. And ultimately, Incredible. man, if you want to actually have a good experience in life, you need real friends in your circle. <clears throat> if you don't have that, then you want to understand what's happening or what you could achieve. But again, if you're not even in this circle, even our circle, you wouldn't know. So it's fine. Bro, like, yo, caller, I'm not even trying to clown you right now, but you said you have no friends. That's a problem. That's a fucking problem as a man that you don't have and a almost, circle of guys 40? around you. That's scary, And bro. you're 40. Where's your tribe? That tells me that you made really bad fucking decisions and where's you your, fucked people over. Where's your brotherhood? That tells me more about you than, I, than anything else. The worst thing you could be is a treacherous fucking snake as a man. That's the worst thing you can be. Yeah. Absolute worst thing you could be because people don't trust you. They don't want to be around you. And guys that got their shit together, Andrew, Tristan, Justin Waller, guys like that, they take loyalty very fucking seriously. They but, cut out like half their fucking squad. Half. Because treachery is just unacceptable. Actually, if you think about it, Justin lost his channel for Andrew. Yeah. Yeah. Justin Waller. Didn't blink eye. Nope. Didn't you know care. what I mean? They've given us strikes for having Andrew on whatever. That's, we don't give a fuck. That's some G shit. You know what I mean? We're not going to fucking cut our ties or our support. But I don't know, man. It's just like a lost start, bro. I don't get it, man. I don't get it. And like the fact that people like try to shut on us for that, I'm like, okay, bro. Okay. We're from our sponsor. Real quick. Yes, sir.